Good morning guys, it is Tuesday. I just got up, well I woke up at 6.30, I haven't been back to sleep, but it's 7.30 right now. Got out of bed about 7.15. I'm gonna make some coffee. Today I have a staff meeting. Um, I look a little greasy, I haven't washed my face yet. Um, I use an overnight mask from Origins, which is amazing. Um, but obviously you have to wash your face in the morning. It's more like a moisturizer, but you definitely need to wash your face in the morning. Um, but anyways, so I'm about to make my coffee right now and um, kind of get my day going. Like I said, I have a staff meeting today. Yesterday I didn't vlog. I posted one, but I didn't vlog. Uh, yesterday I was just kind of stressed out all day and didn't really think to pick up the camera and vlog. But today we're back at it. All right, so I'm headed to the office right now. Today is busy. I have... Speed bumps are insane. I have... Um, a staff meeting at 10.30, I think they said. Check the text again. And uh, it'll be there, so I guess I'll know. But um, So yeah, staff meeting at 10.30. And today's the day that I, that I finalize my worship set and get it out to the team. And also we have prayer. I have to uh, message a few people about this weekend. I just have a lot of stuff to do um, today. And so I feel really good. Um, I don't think I vlogged on Sunday either, but daylight savings, you know, just happened, and, um, the time change and everything, and so Sunday, I was just so tired, I slept so good Sunday night, but I still didn't feel refreshed fully, I don't think, um, and then now I'm feeling, I'm feeling better, I went to bed at about 10 45 last night and uh, slept until 6.30. I think I fell asleep like right away. So definitely felt good. So I already went home from lunch. Um, went home from lunch. I already went home for lunch. And now I'm back at the office. I just threw these drumsticks. We have Manny's drum set in my office now. I got him an electric drum set. And he brought it here. Because it's easier to practice here. Because obviously we live in an apartment. Um... So it's just kind of, you know, stressful to worry about if we're being too loud or whatever. Even though it's electric and he listens in the headphones. Um, you just never know. So he's just more comfortable here. And uh, we practice together here as well. Um, he kind of helps me figure things out for the weekend sometimes. So anyway, we're going to go. I think we're going to go to McDonald's. Um, we... And trying not to eat out. I've talked about this. We, we meal prep and we've been actually doing really good. We really have. We've been really eating the meals that we prep and I really like the meals that we prep. I have no problem with them, but just sometimes you want something that's bad, you know, like McDonald's. And today Manny said that they have a new burger and he never asks to go get anything from McDonald's anymore. We used to a lot. Uh, we used to eat out a lot. I, we had schedules that we worked far away from where we lived, you know, so we would always do that. But I want to tell a quick story really quickly before we head out of the office. Um, I was in, posted this on my personal Facebook. I'll probably post it on um, Instagram as well, which you guys can follow me on Instagram. I think I'm going to try to take a screenshot and post it on there, but <laughs> that's better. Um, but anyway, I went to the MVD today, which is, um, every state calls them different things. In New Mexico, it's, it's a licensed branch in New Mexico. Um, but anyway... And Indiana, it's the BMV, and I know in certain places in Indiana, Indianapolis, and other places it's a DMV, and everybody calls it something different. But anyway, MVD, license branch. Um, we went in today, and there was just this, this couple, older couple, being like so incredibly rude to the the employee there. And and at first, you know, we we're just kind of thinking because at first they weren't too bad. They were just kind of you could tell they were on edge. So I was like, people are crazy. It was kind of honestly funny at first because you could just tell they were kind of like getting like overly worked up for no reason and, and then eventually it just kind of started to escalate a little bit further and um Manny was getting his he had to renew his license so he was getting his picture done and everything and I was just sitting there and um they ended up saying the, the woman ended up saying like well somebody needs to teach this woman how to do her job and I was thinking first of all that's the stupidest thing like she is doing her job you know and that's what I told Manny even when we were sitting there. I mean, these people are just here putting in their hours, doing their job, you know, just like everybody else is trying to do. Um, and they're just trying to work. You know, you don't know what they're going through. You don't know if they're a single mom and they're just trying to make money for their kids. You don't know what people are going through. So there's no need to just hurt somebody's feelings like that. And I, I, I wanted to post on Facebook about it because I was sitting there and I was thinking, like, man, people are mean. You know, people can be so 
mean. And um, I was just, it was kind of discouraging, honestly, just to think about the fact that people are just so rude. And I've experienced that a lot myself in my own jobs. Um, I worked at a jewelry store for a while and people are crazy in there because, you know, it's expensive stuff and they get really worked up. And, and so anyway, I've had that experience in other, other places and also in ministry, I've had experiences like this where people are just mean uh, when you're just working, you know, you're really trying to do your best. And, and so I've been there and my heart just went out to her, you know, because I, I know how that feels. And, um, and I'm a really, I like to be a hard worker. And, and when people just put me down like that, it's really hard. You know, it's hard to hear that stuff. I think for anybody, um, especially when you know you're trying really hard and you could tell she was. And at one point she did stand up for herself and she spoke up and said, like, I just feel really attacked. I feel like you're just really attacking me. And then he kind of, he kind of backed off and was like, oh, I don't mean to attack you. You know, he, he kind of got better, but then his wife, she, she didn't really get any better. So she just continued on. I think she was actually outside when, when the girl had said that. But anyways, um, so after a while this happening, this, this lady came in and like I said, I was thinking like, man, people are mean sometimes. Like, I just can't believe how people can act. You know, I've gotten aggravated just like everybody else has before, but I would never tell somebody they need to learn how to do their job. You know, that's like, that's just stupid. <laughs> Honestly, that just makes you look stupid. So anyways, um, I was just sitting there and thinking, man, people are rude sometimes. And this lady comes in and, um, she, she had brought her mom, uh, to, you know, do something to get her license renewed or something like that. And she didn't have the right documents and whatever. Um, and so I guess she'd already been there once. She didn't have the right documents still, which we all know how that is. It always happens there. And so then she had to go leave again. And, and the daughter that had brought her was like, oh, no problem, mom. We'll go get it, you know, right now. And as she got up, she looked at me and she, she was, I hadn't talked to her at all. I didn't, obviously I don't know her. And she just said, you have really beautiful eyes. And I was like, at first I'm thinking me, because there's other people around, but she was like looking at me and I was like, oh, and she's like, yeah, seriously, they're really pretty. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And she's like, yeah. And then she just left. And, you know, first of all, they could have been annoyed because she didn't have the right documentation still. And uh, they weren't. They just left. And secondly, in that moment, she still wanted to be encouraging to somebody and uplift somebody. And I doubt that she thought, like, oh, this is going to just encourage this girl. She probably just said it just because she's a nice person. But it really did, you know, I, of course it's a compliment. It was really sweet of her to say that. Um, my eyes have never been particularly something that I liked or that I thought were anything special. So that was really sweet of her to say that, but also just to encourage me or to encourage anybody. I would feel the same way if she said this to somebody else. I just think that's so important to uplift each other. And, um, I put this verse on Facebook, Ephesians 4, 29, I believe is what it is. It's a verse that my youth pastor's wife, when I was growing up, my youth pastor, uh, his wife made us learn this verse because she was saying that high school girls are so bad about this and so bad about gossiping and, and putting people down, and it's true a lot of the time. Um, so I still remember it. It was, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs so that it may benefit those who listen. And we had to memorize that. She made us memorize it and made us say it to her every week uh, during a series that she did with the, with the girls. And, and I've never forgotten it. And I still, you know, even in the moments where I think about saying something or I get annoyed, I think, okay, is this going to benefit whoever I'm talking to? Because sometimes you got to have those hard conversations, but you don't have to be mean. You can still confront people or, or, or stand up for yourself in love. And so I think, will this benefit the situation? Will it benefit this person? Will it help anything? Uh, is this person, is her day going to be ruined by me saying this? Because you never know. You never know what somebody's going through. You never know where somebody's at in their life. So I just think it's so important. And, and that's what we need more of is that woman that that spoke up and said, hey, you know, your eyes are really pretty. I mean, she didn't have to say that. There was no need for her to say that, but it was so nice. And it just kind of reminded me that even though there are so many rude people, there are good people. So I encourage you today to go out wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, work or whatever it may be, go out and show somebody love, show somebody what Jesus is all about. Um, you know, we are a representation of him. We are his followers and uh, we represent him and um i think sometimes we forget what a big responsibility that is as christians i always tell my worship team that it's a responsibility that we have and um you know, we're held to that standard so go out and live up to it of course we're going to fail of course we're going to mess up jesus knows that but there's never an excuse to ruin somebody's day or to just destroy somebody's 
I mean, life, you know, words are, have the power of life and death, and the Bible teaches that. And so, um, you know, your tongue, it has the power to kill somebody, you know, maybe not actually physically, um, but sometimes it can result in that. Or, um, you know, maybe maybe more spiritually or more emotionally, it can destroy people. And so um, they also have the power to bring life and to bring life back into something and life back into someone. Um, so use your words wisely, love people, make a difference, and um, be, be Jesus with skin on, as we like to say. So I just wanted to share that story with you, and I'll see you in a minute. We are in the drive through at McDonald's waiting to get our food, and um, I think we might go for a walk when we eat. Do you want to go for a walk? We got to have a walk yesterday because it was kind of cold still. It's really nice today. Right now the car says 63. Oh, it's itching. What did you get from McDonald's, Manny? McDonald's haul. Grand Mac. You got a Grand Mac, the new thing. And I just got McDouble with fries. Yes. But anyways, I got a McDouble with fries, which they don't have on the receipt, so we're going to have to ask them for them. And a large Coke, because McDonald's Coke is so good. And I'm not a big meat eater or burgers or like any kind of meat. I don't really usually care about. But sometimes I just crave a McDonald's burger and I know the meat is not good and I know they carry on about it all the time. But I want it sometimes. And the fries. So that's what I got. Alright, so we're out on our walk right now. I have like a cramp in my side like you get when you run for a while. But I think it's just because I ate right before we came. For some reason I got this random cramp. This stitch as Manny would say in my side. Um... But it's a really nice day. It's got a nice breeze and uh, going on a nice little, nice little walk. The sky is really pretty. Just trying to record that car. I don't know if I got it or not. I didn't want to be awkward. You're so I, like, awkward anyway. I like held it down. We're recording ourselves. I still have a cramp in my side. Like, oh, one of those like stitches on my side. And oh, Manny tried to Google it. I mean, I call it, you call it a stitch. <laughs> I call it a cramp. My side is really hurting. Manny said if I just keep walking, it'll go away, but that has proven to be a lie. So he looked up what I could do to get rid of it. And supposedly you can breathe in, like through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and squeeze the spot while you're exhaling. Yeah, it worked for like two minutes, but then it came back. So. You guys, look. Our light is working at last. I'm so excited. They fixed our light. Man, we, ow! <laughs> Man, why did you hit me with your sock? Why and why are your socks so hard? It hurts! <laughs> you had it like wadded up and hit me. My face is cold. Anyway, they fixed our light. And, and, as Peter, and, and, they fixed our blinds, which I don't know why I'm showing you because you can't really tell. They just look like normal blinds. But, I don't want to smell your hands if they stink. I love having a light in the kitchen now. We don't have to we don't have to move the ring light around as much as before. Oh. My side cramp is getting better, I think. It's like off and on. We went for a walk. It's 5.30. Home for the day now. Um got a headache. I've had a headache like in the afternoon lately, but I think it might be from being tired. Because my body's still adjusting to our new schedule. And I haven't been napping, which I was napping in the afternoon every day for a while, like in the evening. But I don't want to do that because it might mess up my schedule of getting up early. And today I actually did really good because I didn't even want to go back to sleep. When I woke up at 6.30, I was like, actually, I feel good. I'm, I'm ready to go. I feel equipped for the day. So, <laughs> really equipped. Hashtag equipped. My legs are tingling when I sit. A YouTuber tweeted about that today. Mine are doing it. Hashtag, shut up. <laughs> Hashtag, does anyone like you? Hashtag, <laughs> Last night, oh, I didn't say this, I don't think. Last night, Manny and I went to Walgreens and got snacks because I had a stressful day and I needed snacks from Walgreens, even though we've been on this health <laughs> journey. But because we had to celebrate that I survived the day, I guess. I don't know what we're celebrating, but I was very anxious all day. And then, oh, a text, a very important text. Hopefully, it's a good one. Why do you record? They like to see me. <laughs> They're my friends. Like, like videos like this, this will be fun. Yeah, if anybody ever watched it, 
Comment, this is what I want you to do. Let me know if you would watch my live video on YouTube. I used to do live videos on my Facebook page, my Limelight page, but I haven't been doing them lately. I really need to again. I don't mind doing live videos. I don't, I'm not like nervous about it or anything. The only thing with YouTube is I just hope that somebody would actually watch, you know, because my YouTube ones would probably be more like just talking like this. I probably wouldn't like necessarily have like a topic, which with Limelight ones, I always had something that I was going to talk about or a certain product I was going to talk about. But with YouTube, I, I mean, I'm sure sometimes I'd have something I wanted to talk about, of course, but I would just do it real chill, like sitting here, maybe like a coffee talk type of deal. I would like to do that because, again, I like to connect with you guys and I like to talk. So it's, it's pretty much a win-win for me. Um, but if you would actually watch it, let me know. I would probably do them on... I want. I would try to do it on a schedule would be my... I want to get on an uploading schedule for all my videos, but... Some of them have a schedule, like my worship ones that I just started, and I need to get back in Devo's. I really am going to do that again. Those all have a schedule, but I probably would go live on, like, Monday or Friday. I know my friend, my, my friend here on YouTube, Tara, she does one on Mondays, so I would want to do it at a different time because some of her subscribers are mine. <laughs> Let me know if you'd watch it and if, if you, mornings work better. I mean, just give me ideas for that. Leave a comment. That's what I want everybody watching this to do. <laughs> Leave a comment. And just because you say you'll watch it doesn't mean you're like bound to watch it every time. But if you would try, if you'd put forth an effort to watch it, like even afterwards or whatever, just let me know if that's something that you'd like. Guys, you guys know how we play these game shows on our phone, like the apps like HQ and this one we just played is called Cash Show. And Manny won this one. It has how many questions? has 12 questions, which most of them do, and he won. So basically they have like a, a prize at the end, but you split it with however many people won. So yeah, you only get a, a prize from question six on. So he only um, won 31 cents, but <laughs> it is still very exciting because he's never won one of these before and his name was on the winner's list. He took a screenshot of it. Okay, here's a screenshot. That's our last name, Owuku, 31 cents. He's on the winner list. There's 7,518 winners, and he is right there. He is a winner. And guys, so I think my phone might be broken. <laughs> I turned it off to try to get it to stop doing this because it's flashing like this. And my alarm is going off, too, because I set a second alarm. But I can't get it to stop because my phone is actually freaking out. So, Okay, so I got in. But it's still flashing. Uh. All right, so we're home from the office. We did go to the office this morning. I was gonna make this a one day vlog, but I didn't end it yesterday. So I'll just vlog for just a second today as I throw the camera. I'll vlog for just a second today and then I'll end it. Um, but we got pinch me boxes, which I talked about in another vlog recently where you get the free samples. I had to make sure our address wasn't on the side, but where you get the free samples. Um, of just random stuff. Sometimes it's really cool stuff. Sometimes it's just totally random, but it's always free. So that's always good. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and open this and I'm gonna show you guys what this I one is. One. Huh? I got one. Yeah, Manny got one. Don't show the other side. Manny got one too. This is yours. This oh. one's mine. Not the other Even one. They're the same thing. They're the same thing. Manny already knows what they are. He says he thinks it's something like it's dumb, <laughs> but <laughs> we're still gonna look. Um, yeah, that's what he thought it was. So it is. Get this little card in here, and it is. Oh, breading prep kit. That's actually not bad. <laughs> it's not. Okay. It isn't. He said it was like some kind of breading something. It's from Hidden Valley, like the ranch company. Um, Simply Dinner's breading prep kit. So you get this like little container, and then. Uh, classic ranch breading to bread, obviously chicken and stuff. So, I mean, it's like a totally random thing. That's all that was in this box. Sometimes you get other stuff. Last box that I got was really good. It had a sample of uh, body scrub and all kinds of things. It was really good. But sometimes you get stuff like this, just Keep depending on what you put in there. But yeah, you guys should definitely get these boxes. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. This will be up actually after the Worship Wednesday. So make sure you check out our second episode of Worship Wednesday and our first if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Say bye, Manny.